Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And this is Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. And this is for the uh, November 9th, the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost. And uh, we are looking at the gospel lesson, which is from Matthew. And um, I am recording this from home, uh, so you don't get to see the far side cartoons in the back. If you ever wondered what they were, that's my hell wall with all cartoons from uh, the far side that have to do with hell. Anyway, it's just uh, uh, I should have probably pointed that out when I'm at the office. But anyway, there we are. Um, so this is for, like I said, the uh, 22nd Sunday after Pentecost, looking at the Matthew text where um, Jesus tells a parable about uh, those who um, have prepared and they have their their it's uh, their wicks and we're getting close to the uh, we're getting close to uh, Christ the King Sunday which is of course the end times text which is always fun for a children's sermon let me tell you yeah anyway uh, so uh, the item I'm using from the Dollar Tree uh, is um, candles uh, looking at um, that uh, uh, the text is around candles, and the text is around lamps and being prepared, and um, and things like that. So I'm going to talk about how when um, when I was a kid, we would have power outages in uh, Idaho um, for in the middle of winter when it got really cold and got um, maybe the snow was coming down, or you, we have power outages in Oregon where uh, the rain comes down and we're out of power and it's dark and you, it's in the middle of the night and you can't see. And um, so for some folks, they would have flashlights and things like that. And um, for us as kids, we'd have candles so that you could uh, li get them out and you'd light them. But you would need to know where they were. You needed to be prepared. You actually had to have the candles and you, had, you, know, you put them in a drawer and you knew where they were at and you, and you planned. Um, and so this idea that, um, that uh, uh, it's more than just us... Um, us planning and us being prepared, but more that God prepares us, that in, in our lives as Christians, God um, works with us and God works with us to prepare us for this life, that we're not the ones that prepare. Um, we try and we can pray and we can read and we can do all these things, but ultimately it's God who works in our hearts and prepares us. And it's because of what God has done for us that we have hope. That um, in this text, when when we have all these things happening, ultimately it's God that is working in us. It's God that causes us to have hope. It's not our own doing. It's uh, God working in us and through us. That we are kind of like the candles where, where um, things are set up and they're prepared and they're ready. God has uh, called us into a life of being... Um, prepared to uh, be used by God, to be br uh, brought into this world. Anyway, so that's where I'm going with. That's the springboard for this one. Uh, using candles, uh, talking about how um, how God has prepared us for this life of ministry, uh, to be used and to um, be um, for the glory of God. And so, um, so anyway, that's where I'm going with. That's the springboard for this Sunday. And um, I hope you have a blessed week. Uh, please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, have a blessed week.